a lift bay wheels price bike update what up youtube it's your boy jermaine back with another video thought i would talk about the bay wheels lift bike price update now in a few of my videos you guys may have noticed that i was uh using one of these bikes not one of these bikes not one of the bay wheels regular bikes but one of the electric bikes there's one right there poking out and the reason why I'm making this video is they just increased the price today, as of today. Now, let's talk about the previous price before, and then I'll talk about the new price. So the previous price before was one of the best deals that you can find in the whole city. For $15 a month, you could get 45 minute bike rentals. So what that means is you can pull out your app, you can go to a docking station like this docking station here, and you can um, request one of these bikes, a non-electric bike, or you can request a electric bike, one of these bikes over here. Uh, and then from there, you can um, ride one of these normal bikes from the docking location, and you have to take it back to another docking location, or you could just rent an electric bike from a dock location and just lock it up anywhere in the city. You could just take, um, the back wheels have like this locking mechanism and you can lock it up to like a pole or you can just lock it up with lock the bike up to, to itself like just stick the cord through the wheel and it locks the bike okay so for 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 the longest time it was 15 dollars for 45 minute sessions so what that means is i could get on the bike i could request the bike um i'll have 10 minutes to get the bike i have 10 minutes to get to the bike okay request the bike get on the bike i can ride and then i can get off the bike um lock the bike and this way the bike is um I, i'm restarting that 45 minute time and then i can re-request the bike again and then i have another 45 minutes now i know a lot of delivery people would would use the bay wheels bikes all the time to do deliveries with because think about it you never have to charge a bike like you never ever have to charge it now one thing about these bikes it's only pedal assist it's not um it's not full throttle so you can't just sit down and not pedal you have to pedal the entire time if you want the electric part to work on um, my bike here my ride power bike it's a pedal assist bike so i could um just just use this bike as normal i can just use the throttle and i don't have to to pedal to go so that's one thing to throw out about these um bay wheels bikes but they're really really convenient to use and um, a lot of times I would uh, still use the Bay Wheels bike even with my bike. For example, yesterday I had a TaskRabbit job and I looked it up on the map and I saw where the location was and I was guessing, well, I'm pretty sure this the, the client doesn't have a garage and I don't want to have to ask the client, hey, can I store my bike in your garage? So instead of taking my bike to that job, I just rented one of these Bay Wheels bikes and just rode it over to you know the, the client's house, locked it up outside bam I'm at the client's house and I don't have to worry about taking my bike and I don't have to worry about leaving my bike outside for a couple hours um, I can just take one of the Bay Wheels bikes and just leave it outside for a couple hours other really really great scenarios to use one of these bikes when I still have my own bike let's say I'm going out right I'm gonna go out for a couple hours and I'm gonna have some drinks well I don't want to take my bike out because um, I have to ride it there and I'm okay riding it there but I don't want to have to ride it back you know um, there's been plenty of times where I would just take a lift bike and just go out to the bar and then come on the way back just take like public transportation or take an uber back or or take a different way back and that way I'm at the bar and I don't have to worry about my bike because my bike's not at the bar you know if, if I go to the bar and get really really wasted I don't have to worry about it you know I could just leave it there you know but with the lift bikes um, it was just so simple so simple so simple so convenient only for $15 a month $15 a month it almost feels like it's free it's like I'll pay $15 a month and not even use it just because if I want to use it I know it's there but for the most part I definitely use the lift bikes I mean at least a couple times a week up until now so yesterday I used it for the last time and today there's a new new price update and wait till you guys hear this new price update so new price update is this for the $15 a month, which I've already counted my monthly membership, but for $15 a month, you get unlimited 30 minute, no, if I'm not mistaken, it's unlimited 45 minute sessions on the regular bikes, the non-electric bikes. Now the only downside with these bikes, you have to pedal these bikes and you have to take them to a docking location. This docking location, for example, is completely full. 
So there is no place to, to lock this bike. Oh, looks like there's one place available. When I first started making this video, I, I'd say that there, there was a bike there because this bike is, is not there. So you have to bring it to a, a docking location, which is not the end of the world, but usually how it works is wherever you want to go, there's not a docking location really close by. So you have to take it like three blocks away to a docking location and you have to walk three blocks from the docking location. So basically the, the docking locations aren't the, the best place to, to go because they're, they're just lame. You have to go to a docking location. You have to look on a map. Oh, there's a docking location here. There's a docking location here. For example, here is a map here of San Francisco. And let's say I wanted to get to 6th and Market, okay? I would have to go to like 5th and Market or 6th or 7th and Market, which is not that far. It's only one block away. But let's say I wanted to go to like this area, which is a really, really big hill. There's no way I can take the, one of these non-electric bikes over here. And I've never even seen one of these non-electric bikes up here because this hill is so big. Or let's just say I want to go somewhere over here on Hawthorne Street. If I want to get on Hawthorne Street, Hawthorne and Harrison, I'm going to have to walk two blocks, like here to there or from there to here, or I'm going to have to go down to South Park. Like the docking locations aren't the most convenient locations. However, if you are running the Bay Area bikes, this is the best location because you can have everything come to one location. You can have all of your, you know, repair people come to one location and fix everything, okay? So they figured this out. They're like, yo, people hate docks. But now they're charging an additional $2 if you drop it off like anywhere. So they basically want you to bring it back to a docking location. Otherwise, they're gonna charge you additional $2. Plus, it's 15 cents a minute. It's 15 cents a minute. Now, 15 cents a minute doesn't sound like a lot. But yeah, 15, minute, 15 cents a minute definitely adds up. Now, before, I would request a bike, and then I'd have to walk there, okay? I'd have to walk five minutes, seven minutes to get to the bike. Now, when you request a bike, they're going to start charging you the 15 cents before you even get to the bike, okay? So, I mean, I totally get it. I mean, time is money. I mean, there's lots of people that, that want to use electric bikes. And I'm only doing this for the electric bikes. Now, if you rent a normal bike and you go over the 30 minute mark, there is, um, I think it's $2 per hour additional, but I, I, don't even, I don't even care about that fee because I don't rent the non-electric bikes. I, don't, I think most people um, go for the electric bikes now just because once you use an electric bike in San Francisco, especially one of these, you're not gonna wanna go back to one of these normal electric bikes because one of these normal non-electric bikes just because it's so much harder to ride especially on these hills so that's two things that change the price on the docking fee so now you have to bring it to a docking location or if you go to a docking location like this one and it's full and you just like lock it like just right here next to this pole where they'll charge you like two bucks to lock it next to the pole when the docking station is full. It's been so many times I've showed up to docking locations and they've been full. I really wish these docking locations would actually charge the bike because that would be pretty cool too because that would cut down the, on their cost. Um, I always see the guys go out at night and they drive these like white Ford trucks and they have like four, I think three or four batteries in one box and they'll go out and they'll switch the batteries in the electric bike. And I'm pretty sure it's like a maze for them at night because the electric bikes are all over the city and they have to go here and they have to go there and they have to like switch out their batteries and stuff. Now if they're all going to docking locations, that would save them a lot of money because now they would just go to one location and switch out majority of the batteries on the electric bike. But once again, the docking locations suck because the docking locations are just very, very inconvenient. And once again, like I just showed you on that map, they're not everywhere. You can take a normal electric bike and lock it up anywhere just because it has the lock on the back and I mean it has GPS like they, they know they know where the bikes go so that's one thing I'm I'm kind of bummed out um, however it doesn't really affect me that much because I it's not like I use them all the time I would just randomly use them um, for for a little bit I was using them in between like in between charging my bike but since I, just recently I got another battery for my bike so I can just basically ride mine all day but I remember when I was when I would have when I would charge my bike in the daytime, I would sometimes switch over and use one of the um, Bay Wheels bikes, and it was super convenient, like super cool, super convenient. Like I I loved it a lot, but like now they're like switching up the whole game, and 
yeah, I mean, I, there was a lot of people bummed out. I, I was just reading hella Facebook articles talking about how so many people are like canceling their memberships, but then I still see, I still see lots of people riding them today. Maybe they don't know that there's a price update. That'd be pretty lame because I was paying like $15 a month and now if I would use them like normally like I was using them before and I wasn't really using it that much maybe I'd be paying like $30 or $40 a month just because they charge by the minute now like 15 cents a minute you know I, I don't know I'm just bummed out I, I just really wish it was the same price and I, I bet a lot of people does too but at the same time I understand that Lyft has got to make money because this costs a lot of money to have all these freaking electric bikes out but I don't know, I just thought I would make a video talking about Lyft and the Bay Wheels electric bike program. Now, now Uber has jump bikes, but jump bikes is just as expensive as Bay Wheels. And that's why I never ever use the jump bikes because I'm like, yo, these jump bikes cost way too much. And the Bay Wheels bikes had a really good deal for a while, but that deal is over. It's over, it's played out. Yeah, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, let's stay tuned for, uh, let's, see what, let's see what they come out with next, yo. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, peace out.